On to race number six then, and the sixth on the program. We get ever closer to our feature race, the seventh. It's the class two, 1400 metres. Good line up here, headed by Band of Brothers. Uh, run up to Healthy Happy, two starts back, and then behind, fifth to Not Usual Talent, last time out, who won at 20 to one. Ballistic King, a horse in form, also behind Healthy Happy, last time out. Beauty Rush should roll forward, despite bar drawing barrier number 14. Smiling Time makes his Hong Kong debut. He's a grade one placed out of South Africa. We've got Highly Proactive, who steps up from the 12 to the 1400 metres. Uh, Ms. Ally, Ali, apologies. Blinkers on for the first time for him. And then down to Golden Spectrum and Water Diviner from barrier number five. No luck for him last time out. Hasn't placed in six, but he's always dangerous. Water Diviner, Ballistic King, Beauty Russian, Perpetuum. Other horses, Tom, that have been up at Chung in the last month. Pace might only be average in this uh, contest uh, here over the uh, 1400 metres, so that Beauty Rush will go to the front and try and dictate uh, for uh, Wagner Borges from gate 14. Alternate leader, possibly Beauty Legacy. I think that's still his best racing style being up on the pace, and he actually didn't go a bad race last time out. Highly proactive uh, band of brothers. Not sure if Zach Burton's going to go forward or back. Uh, it was a little bit of a surprise he went uh, right forward last time out. Uh, Beauty Smile there with the Happy Fun, and then you've got Not Usual Talent on the inside of Ballistic King and Ms Alley towards the rear. But uh, I think it will be one of the beauty horses up front. Yeah, he's not usual talent. He won beat Lucky Patch last time. It was a nice win from him from barrier one. He's got barrier two, so he should get a similar run. And he's got the apprentice claim, so have one pound less to carry than he did on that win. But a nice uh, piece of work from him. Uh, smiling Time is the first starter. He's 11, 27 pounds. He's had uh, three trials to get him ready, the son of uh, Oratorio, a uh, South African bred horse. That's him 235 on the far side in the white saddlecloth. As he comes down and winning method, uh, his work here is um, going nice enough with Alexi Bedell aboard, uh, another one that travels nicely. That's some 383 on the inside, so uh, just going along nicely there. All right, OK, we'll start off here, heading back to track work with Ed as he catches up with Band of Brothers trainer Paul O'Sullivan. Paul, Band of Brothers, he's been an incredibly honest horse for your stay, but was he perhaps a fraction disappointing last time though? Yeah, Zach wasn't disappointed in him really, he said he just had to do too much early and to try and get across, you know, you sort of jumped better than we anticipated. And the horses inside him, they just held him out. And he had, by the time he got to the first corner, I thought, with 133 on your back, you're going to struggle. So, um, again, he hasn't, got, he hasn't got the flashes of gates, but we'll just ride him a little bit more quietly this time. How's he come out of that run? Oh, it's fine, fine. You know, easy horse to train and um, holds his condition very well. And you've decided to keep him to 1,400 metres here, Paul? I think, um, you know, we experimented a little bit going, uh, going a little bit shorter and uh, he didn't quite have the speed for it. And I think um, the only time he's won over a mile is when he's been in class three. You know, he's probably too good for them in that grade anyway. So I think 1,400 is his optimum distance uh, in this grade. And we've just had the Karaki Yearling Sales Pool in New Zealand in your homeland. Um, have you been out there buying anything? Yeah, well, I stayed bought five or six, so it's no doubt I have shares in those, but I'll find out, find out later in the month. But, um, you know, the, the, um, the, the sale was, was much stronger than they anticipated, which is great for the local breeders, but still a lot of participation from overseas online buyers. So um, I think all in all, everybody was pretty happy. A yeah, different way of doing things um, at the moment, but no doubt we'll see plenty of those horses heading this way in the future. Uh, we're heading the way of Ballistic King now, Tom. Beauty Legacy, Beauty Rush and the ever-dangerous Water Diviner. Yeah, so this was uh, Ballistic King going back a couple of runs so now back to the end of uh, November. He's really consistent, this horse. He's sort of the, the benchmark when it comes to these sort of Class 2 races. Last start he had excuses, three wide, no cover down the side, but tried hard. Uh, Beauty Legacy, he's actually put in some better efforts recently, uh, Paul, and I think certainly the best way for him is uh, being ridden forward here, but you've got some good form coming through this race. You've got Turbian Diamond there as well. Yeah, it was, it was a, um, a good race, wasn't it? And he has been consistent ballistic king. He's just, he's just sort of crept up the weights a little bit without winning. OK, what about uh, Miss Ali, Paul, at the trials here? It was a big price on debut. Uh, 90 to 1, give or take. It's the blinkers on and Joe Moreira. Yeah, well, interesting booking uh, for this. And this horse has definitely come on from this debut run. I like the fact the blinkers go on him. Uh, he's by Time Thief, this horse. Uh, barrier number four. And uh, I like the way he hit the line. Look, I put him in on a very minor line. Yeah, I put him in as well, uh, Ms. Ellie. Yeah, blinkers go on. Now, he had an excuse last time out. He stumbled at the start, but he was only beaten two and a quarter. He ran on really well, and he's had that trial since at uh, Happy Valley. So, definitely wasn't a bad run from him. He's put on 19 pounds since that last run, too. Okay, 90 to 1 on debut, 9.7 at the moment. Beauty Legacy, though, the favourite, Paul. 
He is, but look, I think not usual talent can win again. He's got similar barrier draw. He's got to carry a pound less than what he did when he won. Uh, Lucky Patch came out of that race and uh, performed really well in the four-year-old series running fourth. So uh, I'm going to stick with him. I think he can win this race, come up a decent price as well. So he's on top to beat uh, Band of Brothers. Uh, look, the wide draws the, 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 the query, but he's a very honest horse. I think Beauty Smile can get a nice run in the race. He won't be too far away. And then uh, Miss Ellie as the improver. 2-1, 12-11. 1, 2, 3, and 11, my numbers. Sticking around the, the top three, I think uh, Band of Brothers, uh, again, it was a pretty honest run from him. He sat second, probably peaked at the, the 120, but had to do too much work, as Paul O'Sullivan alluded to there. Uh, not usual talent, number two certainly goes in. Ballistic King and Ms Alley. So 1, 2, 3, and 11. Definitely the horses at the top of the handicap. Dangerous Band of Brothers, not usual talent, but I thought uh, towards the bottom as well, lightweight for Beauty Smile was interesting as well. That was race number six.